Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Swiss Army Dan coming at you with another Swiss Army Knife video. Today, I wanted to share with you guys some of my vintage Swiss Army Knives. Um, here they are right here. Um, and I'll just start right here. This is the only vintage soldier model that I have. And it's a, uh, it's a Vanger soldier. I really like these older soldiers because they had the, uh, the relief for the awl right here and you get this kind of rounded off awl which is really cool super sturdy snap on this thing strong back back springs back then Vinger was called Vinger Enox Enox being that uh, I mean stainless steel is kind of an international term but that's a 1954 soldier the soldiers are cool because they have this uh, the stamp on them right here saying they were inspected by the Swiss military and approved for service next we'll move into some officers knives this is a very early 50s fisherman love these old old uh, vintage knives especially the ones like I said with the relief cut for the awl rounded off all there this one's in cherry shape for its age I really like this one this is probably one of my favorite knives in my collection five turn fluted corkscrew there no other back layers I was kind of wishing that it had the uh, the long nail file on the back opposite of the uh, scissors but not on this one this one is unique because it has this version of the openers on it between 46 and 51 with that lobster claw style can opener and there's the screwdriver these things uh, switch sides for these years too because usually you're going to have your can opener this side and your cap lifter that side so it's switched up on this early 50s fisherman. Next, the scissors, which opens like the Pioneer X scissors. Nail, nail nick on that side. Then the infamous fish scaler. Blank back then, these older vintage ones did not have those measurements. Still had the degorger there. Another thing I like to uh, pay attention to is this, just the stamps. Back then it was this Army Suisse, if it'll come up here, yeah. Which is really neat. Victoria Switzerland stainless on the back. And the infamous clip point small blade. So for these, you know, I think different people have different definitions of what vintage is. I think, uh, I read somewhere for knives it's 50 years old as vintage and 100 years old as antique. But these days I think uh, vintage is used pretty loosely. But I defined it as having uh, that clip point blade will make it vintage because they stopped this in about 73 or 74. Or having this... Uh, Victoria stamp. Victoria officier Suisse there. So they stopped that around uh, 73, 74. So I think if it's got one of those two features, I call it vintage. Here's another one of my favorite knives in my collection. It's a vintage Ellenox Camper. Still new in the box with the old box on it here that's pretty cool. The Ellenox shield on it. it does have the Swiss pad on it on the uh, can opener there. Clip point small blade. And this, uh, where's the nail nick for? I guess there's not a nail nick for this. It's got a, it doesn't stick out too much there on these older ones. Hardly anything there to grab onto to get this saw out. But it's a cool older camper. 
LNX from the 60s. Then we have a standard officer's knife, a Spartan, with the bail on it here. Still got the uh, Swiss Pat on the can opener. No locking degree, but 90 degree. Uh, no stop, half stop on the on the uh, cap lifter. They didn't introduce that on the uh, Celador 91 millimeters till 85, and then for the 84 millimeters, not until 2010 did they put that half stop in there. But this has the uh, old Victoria stamp on it. I EDC this one sometimes. This is pretty much the only vintage knife I'll EDC. Then we got this old Champion, which is really awesome. These vintage ones, they're, they're my favorites. It's got the uh, Swiss Pat on there. What's cool about this one, it does have that, uh, that long nail file get it out right here and that is opposite of the scissors which are right here and Victoria stamp on the back of course it has the clip point small blade No markings on this fish scaler. Didn't introduce introduce those till 75, 1975. There's the file and the wood saw. Yeah, here's that cap lifter. It still does have the scraper on it there. They continued that up until I think around 73 or 74 for the uh, Celador knives. It's got the uh, the metal tip tweezers. Also wanted to point out on this uh, Fisherman, it's got the uh, aluminum tip tweezers too. Or maybe those are even nickel silver for this one. But no, uh, no toothpick on this, so that's kind of unique. Next we've got a uh, vintage climber small. No Swiss pad on this one, so I think this is around, you know, that early 70s mark. Still does have a clip point blade. The stamp on it is still Victoria. So I think it's probably a 73 or 74 knife. No uh, long nail file on that one. Here is an old tourist. This one introduced the new stamp. So I think this is like a 74 knife. It still does have the uh, clip point small blade on this 84 millimeter tourist. Then we have another Champion, it's a Champion B with the Phillips on it. It still does have the long nail file on it. You open it here on this one. It's got the original aluminum tip tweezers, the point small blade, file, fish scaler, no markings on that, wood saw. scissors. The scissors in this position which is kind of unique too. Now we've got another standard. This one has the, uh, the key ring on it. This thing is in excellent shape. This is like next to new. Really glad I found this old standard. Clip point blade, five turn corkscrew. Really cool. I'm, I'm a big fan of Spartans in general so I try to collect different years of those. And finally is this uh, small tinker. If Miklos is watching, I think he's got one of these, but they're so cool. He always points out that every feature on these knives are, are unique and you can date them and they have vintage features, starting with the Swiss Pat on the can opener, the uh, wire scraper on the cap lifter, the clip point small blade, the old tank stamp on this, Victoria, the old style of the Phillips which is squared off with a file on it, and then the old style with no uh, hole in the uh, reamer punch here. So yeah, that's just a little walk through some vintage 
Swiss Army Knives. I hope you guys are doing well. I appreciate you watching. Be kind to each other. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Swiss Army Dan's out.